Okay guys, so I have um, I have another kind of unboxing for you today. This one is going to be of the uh, Trust uh, GXT155 gaming mouse. Um, we don't really have many stores around where I live that sell this kind of stuff, but I managed to find um, uh, a place I did work experience in a couple of years ago, actually start, started selling keyboards and mice. And this was, I think, the highest end keyboard they are keyboard, the highest end mouse they have. Now at the moment, I'm using a pretty cheap mouse. Um, like it's done the job pretty well. It is actually pretty high quality for the fact that it cost chips. I think I got it with a keyboard. But um, I wanted, considering I'm getting a new computer, don't mind this at the moment. This is just a replacement, although it is a custom water cooled with hardline tubing. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um. But, yeah, so I want to get stuff that'll match my system, um, which will probably mean a new keyboard as well sometime soon, which will have to be black and red. But um, I'm not going to go through the box too much, just cut this. The brand new trusty unboxing knife, that's actually complete dirt, but um, we'll roll with it anyway. Yeah, so... Um, as you can see here, there are customizable weights, so each weight is 2 grams, and there are, I believe, uh, 8 of them? Yeah, 8. 8 of them. I'm counting, I don't know why it wasn't able to count that. But, um, you can have different profiles for DPI. I believe, I, I'm hoping now, that it's not necessarily RGB, but you can at least choose a, choose a colour. Um, because from what I saw on the company's website, um, you there are like multiple colors. Now this is actually really nice. You open the box and it's kind of suede. This um, packaging is, is like a weird kind of suede material. But um, if I can get the mouse out here, maybe I have to take all this out first. Everything's falling, but okay. So we get a get a big old sticker that I probably won't use. Um, user's manual. Sorry, legal and compliance information. And this would be the user the user manual. Piece of cardboard that can go behind me. And what is this? Oh, this is where you can put the weights. So that's quite cool. That can also go behind me. And now we just need to try and get this mouse out of the packaging. Feels really weird. But yeah, the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that the lead is braided blue, and um, apparently on every picture of it there are blue lights. But I've seen, um, I've seen it with yellow and red lights. So um, I guess we'll just have to see. I mean, this feels really nice already. Um, it is a pretty heavy mouse. Here are the weights. I can get one out now. There we go. As you can see, they just come out. Each one is two grams. So you can actually raise the uh, the weight of the mouse by what, 16 grams if my maths is correct. Which to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't, but um, I digress. There you go. There's some form of a button there, I'm not sure what it does, I will look it up. You have your DPI switcher, you have a I believe it's fire button for first person shooters. Um, another five buttons on the side, rather than the normal two that usually come on a cheap gaming mouse. Which This cost me 60 euro, 
Um, I think you can find it on, on Amazon for about £30, so you're talking about 10 to €15 Euro in the difference, which if I had have known it was on Amazon, I would have bought it off Amazon, but, you know, I can't really help it. It's only 15 quid. I mean, like, it's not the worst thing in the world. But um, I don't know if you can see it. Let's bring it to the camera. But it has this kind of texture on it. It it's hard to explain. It's not it's not suede, but it is um like kind of a grippy grippy texture. It's really really weird. But I guess now, I guess for most of this price, it is nice to see a Velcro strap, not just um a twist tie. around there for now. It's a 1.9 meter cable, so that should be long enough to route behind or like around behind and to your desk and whatnot. So by the looks of it is blue, so I, I am a bit irritated by that, but I'll make sure Right, so I'm going to have to install this um, kind of software, I would imagine. Sip of tea and install. There we go, so this stays blue. So you can actually make it any kind of shade of whatever you want. All the way to white. But I think I'll just click on dark red, which is more pink. Light red, which is more red. Um, I guess it would be nice to be able to change this from blue. But it isn't particularly like, yeah. Does it breathe? Is that something that happens? I don't know what's happening, I don't know what that's meant to be. But okay. But um I forget what I was saying. So second layer la uh, level of DPI is probably good for me. Um, I mean you can literally change so much with this. So fire key, screw, you can, okay, let me, um, let me turn the camera off and I'll jump into, uh, I'll jump into the software. Okay, so I apologize if this isn't the best quality of a um, microphone. I am using my webcam microphone at the moment, but, um, yeah, this is, um, This is pretty cool, I have to say. I mean, it's... Like, look. You have the top of the mouse, so you have a... Okay. Fire button. You have your normal right click, left click, uh, left click, middle mouse. You have your DPI plus and uh, up and down. You go to the side of the mouse and you have left alt which actually in Fallout 4 which is something I'm playing again that would be to melee attack when you have your weapon out then you have uh, control which would be crouch in most games um, shift which would be sprint in most games and then you have here and 1011 would be your normal like web browser uh, backwards and forwards keys which is pretty cool, I think. So you can even raise your double click speed if you want to. I'm gonna leave that the same. I don't know what I don't know what polling is. I'm not a genius when it comes to mice. Your scrolls, you can up your scroll speed, up your pointer speed, which I'm not sure what it does. 
you turn up your acceleration and um, your DPI you can raise your DPI levels here to exactly what you want so if you want it to move up quicker than you want then move them um, horizontally you can do that here's your light I mean you can literally choose anything mix your own colors if needs be like or you can I, I would imagine turn it off there it is a bit of a shame that you can't turn the blue off I mean it would be nice to be able to turn the blue off but it is um it is a nice mouse all the same and I don't really mind that one bit of blue it doesn't irritate me um and then you just have info about it. But I mean, everything about this, I mean, it's for what you're talking about 45 euros, so 30 pounds for what I would say a pretty well rounded mouse, a good, a good feeling, heavy, um, very good quality mouse with software where you can change the LED and everything for 45 euro is pretty damn good I mean you can buy mice for 60 euro and they won't they won't have that like I know I paid 60 euro for this but that's just because it came from an actual store and they have to buy it in they don't buy them in for the best prices they're not the I wouldn't say they're the best um, when it comes to this kind of stuff. They wouldn't know what they're talking about all too well, so they sell say they sell it for what people will buy it for. I guess I'm one of those idiots that'll buy it for sixty quid. Um, even though I can just get free shipping. Anyway, I'm not gonna look back on it. I have it in my hand now. I don't have to wait a week to get it. But um, yeah. But I have to say I'm impressed. I was expecting to buy this and have it be like, yeah, it's all right. It's better than the mouse I have now. It wouldn't be what I chose. But I have to say, I'm probably going to stick with this for a good while. It feels really, really comfortable. I can't wait to do some gaming on it. Um, it should be good. So my final conclusion about this is... Um, it's relatively cheap. Well, I'm going to say affordable, not cheap. Um good quality for the price which again ties into the affordable part it has everything you would want even stuff that you wouldn't necessarily want or need but it's nice to have like it has um, the weights on the bottom it has buttons here that you can use for shortcuts if you don't want to use your keyboard sometimes it's easier to just click there and press, v, uh, press C or V to copy or paste something um, I mean, I can see this being pretty handy, and I can see it being really good in games, especially for first-person shooters. Like if I play a lot of Insurgency, you're walking around, I need to crouch, just control, and I'm still able to look everywhere. I don't have my thumb here, I'm trying to move around. It gives me full control over my character at all times, and the fire button is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, the fire button is literally just a right-click, it's the exact same thing, except I guess... Um, meant to put your finger in a better place I'm not sure what it's meant to do but uh, you can probably program that in the in a game to do whatever you want so that could be reload which would actually be kind of cool you might do that in most of my games so shooting whatever need to reload do that that'll work just as well and um, also over on the other side you have a really good er ergonomic design for your your uh, two outer fingers they sit on there perfectly they don't rub against the mouse mat which actually is one of the biggest peeves I have with most mice I hate the feeling of my finger rubbing off against something because it just makes my finger feel numb after a while and um, yeah I have to say it's quite a nice mouse the only downside I have it and this is simply opinionated towards me is the fact that you cannot change the LED here the only bad thing I still have the red here that doesn't annoy me too much. I mean, so be it. I have a bit of blue there. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I'm pretty sure one of the parts of my system is going to be a bit green, but I can't help that. Um, 
but if I get a red LED keyboard rather than a white LED keyboard it should all tie in pretty nicely um, that's really it um, I would recommend, I, w I actually would recommend this if you're looking for a cheap kind of um, Corsair gaming mouse alternative uh, I mean it's up there with some of the better mice I'm sure it doesn't have all the fancy sensors or whatever you need in a, in a mouse that the MX Master or whatever comes with but it will do more than just get the job done and it feels really nice, it feels quality there's a nice weight to it um, it just feels like it's good build quality and from a brand like Trust I'm quite glad to see it because it gives me hope in the budget side of mice again because usually you get this kind of stuff which works but I mean it weighs nothing and you know it's it's meh at least or sorry at best I should say it got the job done for a while but now that I was able to just put 60 quid aside and get that you know I'm better off with it but yeah that's going to be um, that's going to be it for this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video Goodbye.